So next up in our MySQL series is the case operator. Uh, this is one of the control flow functions that you can use in MySQL. So when you want to make a decision and you're selecting something out of a table, but you want to do a calculation of some sort and figure out, I want to have this or this, one of these two things as the possible value in this column based on the data that's in the column. So maybe it's not the actual value that's inside the table that you're taking out, but some sort of calculated value, but there's two versions or three versions of that. So let's take a look at how we do it. If you've been following along with the series, great. You've already got all the tables and everything that we need. Um, if this is the first one that you're watching, then here's a SQL file. I've got the link down in the description. You can click on that, download the zip, open it up, or you can just copy and paste this into PHP my admin, go to your SQL tab, paste it inside of there, or you can go to the import tab, take the SQL file, choose file and run that. Either way, you're going to get all of the tables, everything that we've been working with so far. Okay. Now case statement, let's say I'm doing a simple select and I'm going to go to my movies table inside my database here, and I'm going to get the movie ID, the movie title. So those two fields, so we'll say movie ID and movie title. And then for the genre right now, it's just an ID. So if we go over here, let's jump into the table actually and browse through the data, look at what we've got inside of here. The genre ID column is just numbers, but let's say I want to have words. I don't necessarily want to go and do an inner join with the genres table and get the actual value, but I know what these numbers are and I'm going to write out something like, uh, if it's number one, that's the fantasy genre. So I'll just, uh, I want to write cool stuff. And if it's number two, I'm going to write futuristic. And if it's any other number, I'll just write out the number. So there we go. I'm using the genre ID as one value and I'm using my own text labels in place of the number one or the number two this is a perfect place to use the case statement. All right. So SQL. So I'm going to select, uh, we'll give an alias to our table M. So movie ID and movie title. And we're going to get something for the genre ID. I'm just going to skip over that for one second from movies as M. There we are now. We've got a comma here. So there's one more value that I'm going to put in. And this is where I put my case statement. It's just in place of one of the columns. So I'm going to start with a case and it ends with an end. And then we can add a alias on here. So I'm going to call it genre just like that. Okay. So that's the start and end case and end next. What is the value that you want to look at in order to determine whether it's going to be one of your multiple values that you want to display. So we'll say the genre ID. This is the column that we're going to examine or the case statement is going to look at. Now for every possible value that we have for this, we can add a when statement. So when the genre ID is one, then I want to put out cool stuff. When the value is two, then I'm going to put futuristic. And you can do as many whens as you want. When the value is 123, then something else. Now there is no 123 in my, in my, uh, genre IDs, but I can just put it there as an example. Um, and then the last one else. If it's not any of the values that you have specifically listed, then you can add a wells clause, an else clause to say, okay, if it's none of these, then I want you to display something else. Now I could put anything I want here. I can put the genre ID. I could put the movie ID. I can put a fixed string. I can do concat and let's say, I'm going to say, genre ID with a space and then the actual genre ID. 
There we go. So those are the four possible values. I can have cool stuff, futuristic, something else, or genre ID, a space, and then the number. Any of those possible values based off of what the genre ID is. So let's run that, take a look. And here's the result. In this column, instead of the numbers, we've got cool stuff, futuristic, genre ID 5, and futuristic. Okay, and that's it. That is the syntax. So case, end. You can optionally add a an alias. I strongly recommend that you put an alias because the alias is what you want to use inside of your Node.js or PHP or your Ruby or whatever it is that you're using. Then, when, then, when, then, when, then, else. And that's it. Now, this is the case operator. There is also a case statement, and that is the version of this that we would use inside of a store procedure. Store procedure is going to be a video that I'm going to do shortly. Um, there's just some minor differences in the syntax and how you would write it. But otherwise, that is it. That is the case statement. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. Uh, again, I will leave the link to the SQL file down below. I will leave a link to the rest of the MySQL playlist. And I'll leave a link to the control flow functions page from the reference manual. As always, thanks for watching.